Why? I think this is like a universal joke. Every time I have to film a video, there'll be some shit going on in the background. I know that we are all stuck in quarantine, bored, done with our lives, got nothing to do with our lives. In addition to that bundle of joy, we can't really click pictures because we don't have backgrounds, we don't have anyone to click our pictures. So, I'm here to show you how I click my not half bad pictures all by myself. I recently bought a tripod stand from Amazon, I'll link it down in the description. It is pretty affordable and easy to use. Eternity later. Anyways, if you do not have a tripod stand, no worries, you can always hustle. Use books, use a stool, use a cupboard, use your sibling. I don't have a professional camera. I click my pictures on my phone. It's the iPhone 11 and clarity, good. Anything? Good! Phone? Good! So, that's my review. <laughs> is it just me or this video is getting more narcissistic by the second? What is that I hear? Oh, it's just me. Now I'm going to tell you my process of clicking a picture. So first, look for a background. Your house will have a blank wall like this. If not, move that bed. Move that cupboard. Move that table. The second step is to match my outfit to my background or I just don't care and the last part is the most important part that is clicking the picture I use my front camera to click my pictures rather than the back even though they both are almost the same thing because I have a good amount of control figures in me and I like to make sure that the picture is everything I'm picturing but if somebody else clicks my picture with the back camera I don't think the angles are correct and they say the picture looks amazing but actually it looks like trash you know I just found this as a nice wall setup. The tube light is not too there, but I'm gonna try covering it. I'm just gonna screen record how I click pictures. This is when I was shooting previously, and these are the list of ideas for this video. I set up the tripod stand on my bed so that I get the perfect background, and now let's click some pictures. And yes, I have set my timer to 10 seconds and not 3 seconds because I feel like the former gives me more time to think and rethink my pose. without the cling film. That is one scary looking me trying to put the cling wrap on for the fifth time. This is what it looks like with the cling film. It's a little bit more aesthetic and let's see what the pictures look like. For this shoot you need a CD and a phone with a flashlight. You can do this during the day as well but it is preferable if you close your windows. Just turn on the flashlight and focus it on your CD such that the reflection is on any blank wall in your house and the reflection ought to look something like this. Remember those cutesy glasses your mom keeps inside for your guests? It's time to put them to real use. You'll also need a phone with a flashlight. Right 
right now i'm in a whole another room this has a really cool red light which we will be utilizing in this shoot shout out to my mom who helped me with this shoot and also the previous one with the cd right now i'm directing her to focus the design on my face and that is it for this week's video okay bye